Når man er på det til ved det ene spørgsmål til sang til Amen. Uh, today uh, is a commemoration <coughs> of Saint Saturninus, um, and he's one of the um, uh, kind of a little-known saint. I mean, who's heard of Saint Saturninus? But he's one of the oldest known saints in France and Gaul. Um, his martyrdom occurred around the year 257 uh, under the Emperor uh, Valerian, and he was one of the seven bishops. Uh, one of the seven bishops called the Apostles to the Gauls, sent out under Pope Fabian. Um, Pope Fabian, by the way, was, was uh, um, uh, his feast is, oh, I can't remember what it, what it, what it is. He was a man that was walking through uh, uh, Rome, and the cardinals couldn't decide on who to elect Pope, and they looked out the window, and they saw St. Fabian, and a dove landed on his shoulder, and they uh, decided that that was a sign of the Holy Ghost, and so they took a layman, And, anoint, and, and ordained him from, uh, t- gave him the tonsure, sub, um, um, uh, porter, lector, etc., all the way up to subdeacon, deacon, priest, uh, a bishop, uh, cardinal, pope, like in the span of a week. He went from layman to pope. So that was Pope Fabian. Pope Fabian sent out Saint Saturninus and seven other, uh, six other bishops, the apostles to, Gaul, to the Gauls. Uh, and now, France and, 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 and Gaul, um, you know, that was kind of just like what Europe was called at the time. They had already had um, uh, 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 apostles sent out there. There had already been missionary work, but because of the persecutions uh, had wreaked havoc, it kind of it needed to be re-evangelized, and so Saint Saturninus was sent out. Uh, now he had been born to a noble Roman family, so he had some um, you know status, uh, and he converted many to the faith. Uh, for which he was imprisoned uh, by the prefect of a certain city he was in, uh, but he was freed by an angel. Uh, He later became the first bishop of Toulouse uh, in France, and as soon as he began his missionary work there, um, uh, the oracles of the local pagan priests stopped receiving messages from the gods, which of course you know were uh, demons. Uh, The church historian Fortunatus tells us that uh, Saint Saturninus converted a great number of idolaters by his preaching and miracles. Um, He had a small church uh, in the city of Toulouse, and it was nearby the capital of the city where a great temple to the gods had been built. And uh, he used to walk each day to church, and as he would walk to church, he would pass by the temple. And when he did so, when he was passing in front of the temples, uh, the devils in the temple were always struck dumb. And the, the, the priests uh, didn't understand what was going on until they finally figured it out. And they, like, every time this, this, this um, um, priest walked by, you know, our, our demons are, are, are struck mute. So they, they were furious by this and dragged St. Saturninus into the temple and demanded that he either appease the gods by offering sacrifice or die. Saint Saturninus replied, I adore only one God, and to him I am ready to offer a sacrifice of praise. Your gods are devils, more delighted with the sacrifice of your souls than with the bodies of bulls. And how can I fear them who, as you acknowledge, tremble before a mere Christian? Uh, The infidels were furious at this reply and uh, uh, seized the saint and beat him in a rage and then tied his feet to a wild bull which had been brought in for sacrifice. Uh, The beast was then driven from the temple and ran violently down the hill such that the the, uh, St. Saturninus uh, skull was broken and his uh, brains were dashed out. And uh, his happy soul was released from his body and fled into the kingdom of peace and glory. Uh, The bull continued, however, to drag his sacred body uh, such that um, uh, his limbs were scattered along on every side till the cord breaking. Uh, What remained of the saint was left in the plain outside the gates of the city. Two devout women uh, took the sacred remains and laid them on a bier and hid them until the persecutions were over until they could be moved to a more fitting resting place. Uh, So thus the the legend and martyrdom of Saint Saturninus. Now this is no legend. Um, Very often we hear accusations against the saints that these are just um, fabrications uh, with nothing to prove them. Uh, But as proof, Uh, the street where the bull stopped is called, in France, is called the, well, in Toulouse, is called the Rue de Tower, the street of the bull, and the place, the wider area where this occurred, is still named Matabio, which is the killing by the bull. 
Uh, so even you know, thousands of years later, uh, we have a remnant that the, these are the events that took place, and here is the reason why these streets have their name. Now, scoffers will say that the place was already named that for some other reason, and that the legend of the saint was invented to make a connection. Uh, to which we must reply, well, what is the other reason that these streets and this place is given that name, and they have no response? They can offer no proof, no other story, no other legend to explain why these places have that name. All they can do is, is uh, uh, disbelieve and scoff at the evidence which is there. And that's what, that's what the enemies of the church always do. They will take the evidence that we have, the, the street and place names that are still named after that, a, a, a legend that has been in the church for over a thousand years, and they'll say, well, there's probably some other explanation. What's your evidence? Why should we disbelieve this legend? Well, it, we, we ju they have no reason. They don't want to. They do not want to believe. Why? Because believing would require something from them. If this legend is true, that is a miraculous account of, of a martyr, and there are so many other accounts like this, that means that the Catholic faith is true. There is a God, there is a heaven, and there is a hell. And everything that the church says, which is going to send you to hell, you're doing, and you don't want to stop doing it, and that's why you will not believe the truths of the church, because the church, uh, if the church is true, you have to change your life, and you don't want to do it. That is always what motivates these scoffers against the, the legends of the church, and so on. Uh, either that, or you sometimes even get these supposedly well-meaning people in the church, churchmen who will disbelieve these legends, say, well, that's not true with this, etc. Um, and it is, that's because of human respect. It's because the world mounts all this pressure against the church to give in and against churchmen to give in, and, and they will give all kinds of praise and honors to those churchmen who do. Uh, to those who join the side of the world and scoff, they appear so scholarly, they appear so knowledgeable. The, the, those outside the church laud them as being reasonable and, um, uh, and, 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 and intelligent and so on, and that, that's attractive. And of course, we know Satan is piling on his demons uh, uh, to try to uh, um, uh, affect people, right? to, to tempt people to this vanity and pride. Uh, but we have, to, we, have to, we have to know that this, um, this is uh, the case. We have to know that this is a likely scenario. This is exactly what Satan's going to do and, and be on our guard against it. Um, so, um, you know, as, as so often with the lives of the saints, um, you know, is there, uh, you would say, proof beyond a shadow of a doubt? You know, many times we, we don't have that, uh, nor would we. You know, it, 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 is, is, um, it would be, um, um, if we subjected um, other uh, works of, of, the, of the ancient world, if we subjected the works of, of Aristotle, the plays of, of Sophocles and Aeschylus and the Greeks and the Romans, if we subjected all those other classical works to the same rigor that people want to give the church, nothing would be believed. The Romans wouldn't exist, uh, 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 Homer, uh, the Iliad, the Odyssey, those would all be fabrications and unbelievable because there's less evidence for that than there is for these other miracles of the church. So uh, uh, at least be consistent across the board, which the world cannot be because, uh, again, uh, as, as uh, I think it was an actual, an actual honest literary critic was asked why other ancient works were not subjected to the same rigorous um, uh, standards as the Bible and biblical texts, and, and this athe it was an atheist, just a non-Christian, I uh, paused, and in a moment of, of truth, he said, because those other ancient texts don't tell you how to live your life, right? So that, that com it comes down to that. People do not want to change. Uh, but anyways, we can believe the legends of the saints. We know that they're true. We have God right here with us in this church in the tabernacle. Uh, so let us not be disbelieving, but believe. And, uh, you know, as, as it says in scriptures, blessed are they who have not seen and yet have believed, and that is us. We believe in the testimony of others, which is solid and true. Uh, so uh, uh, may we ask for, through the intercession of St. Saturninus, you know, to believe the legends of the saints and to make them our friends. And may God bless you all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.